Hello guys, welcome back to ServiceNow 911. Suppose I want to show update button on incident form, but that update button should be different from the existing update button that is on global table. But I cannot modify this, right? Because if I modify this update UI action, it will be reflected in all other tables because this UI action is in global table. So in order to resolve my query, I have created a UI action here on incident table. Okay, let me make it active. And here, what I want to do extra, I want to print the message updated before it actually updates, which is different from the global UI action. It is just updating. Okay, you can do whatever you want, but just for showing purpose, I am displaying this message. Okay, so once this UI action is created, let me save it. Now let's reload this. After reloading, you see two UI actions which is of same name update, but it is looking a bit weird, right? So, so I have to remove, I have to override the new UI action created over the existing one. So how to do that? Let me show you. I have to place this condition in the global UI action that is on global table here so here just add and this it means that the current class name should not be incident that is the current table name should not be incident so now onward this particular ui action will not be available on incident record save this now if we reload i'm able to see only one that is good let me check if it is the one which we have created Click on update, just make some update here. Testing purpose, click on update. Let's see. Yes, I am getting the message updated. So it means the UI action is the one which we have created just now. That is the new update UI action. So this is how we overcome this problem. Thank you so much. Subscribe to the channel. Stay connected. Bye bye.